Hey Flower Tribe, it's Kelly Lehman and Lucy Lehman and I wanted to take you on a quick fall garden tour around um, some of the property here. So you can see the big barns in the back and we've got some gorgeous burning bush uh, kind of like in my front yard. I love this plant because it turns this gorgeous color this time of year. Most of the year, um, most of like spring and summer, it's green, but it turns this amazing flaming red in the fall which is really cool and it makes for like a great blocker plant and so like i said there's the flower barn in the back that's where my flower shop is uh this is like the front of my house lucy's kind of sniffing around here and that's you know like the driveway coming through the peony farms to the right i'll take you for a walk there a little bit right now the peonies are all dormant um but what else i just want to kind of show you the what's what around here this time of year because it's such a beautiful time of year uh, to see all the leaves changing and some of the plants that are here. So this is just a, a really uh, quiet spot that we have by my house. It's this pretty fountain in the beginning. Lucy loves coming out here because there's always birds out here and I'm always feeding them. And usually the bread that I put down for the birds, Lucy finds before the birds get it. So <laughs> she's been porking up a bit because of that. And so this is just like a little uh, hedge I have around here. I've got some roses, some double knockout roses that are still in play. This has been a great year for roses, I have to say. Back there is the secret garden. Take a walk back there right now. Let's see, I'll try not to go too fast. Oh, I wanna show you this huge transplanting that I just did of my hydrangeas. So a while back I had asked the Flower Tribe for suggestions on this front patio I had uh, taken out a ton of azalea bushes and just some like scraggly bushes that just looked horrible. And so I had like a big, like just like a wide open, like plain area here. It was just like, uh, like the stone wall and then nothing in front of it. So what I did was we took a whole bunch of hydrangeas that were in the back flower field. They have like a whole hydrangea meadow. We took about 10 of those out we dug them up because it's, it's um november right now so this is a good time of year to kind of transplant things or move them around if you want and we dug them up we divided them and so those 10 hydrangea plants became 20 and then we took each of those and we planted them we transplanted them here and so right now they look horrible they're all you know kind of in shock they don't look very good um but I'm not super worried about them because uh, I, I know that hydrangeas are super hardy and I know that I planted them at a great time of year. They have more than six weeks. If you're gonna do a transplant or any kind of planting in the fall, make sure that you have at least six to eight weeks before the ground freezes to let their roots get established. So I know these guys are gonna be awesome uh, come spring, at least, you know, fingers crossed. And I made sure I watered them in. It's really important to keep your plants uh, that are transplanted or planted in fall, you know, nice and moist. You don't want to soak them, but um, you want to make sure they're moist and happy. And we just had a few uh, really good rainstorms. So uh, these guys, you know, even though they look really crummy, like I said, I think they're going to be just fine here. Thank you for all the Flower Tribe members who had, had mentioned, you know, why don't you put some hydrangeas there? Because it was a great, it was a great spot. This is what those pretty Annabelle hydrangeas look like this time of year that I show you guys. They're usually the white fluffy uh, hydrangeas at that turn green towards like the end of summer. And this is what they look like now. I'm gonna wind up leaving them just as they are. A lot of you have asked me if I prune them back or not. I don't, I'm just gonna leave them alone. And I have a, a lot of uh, videos on pruning, when to prune, when not to prune, how to prune. But right now I'm just gonna kind of leave these guys be. And back of those beautiful limelight hydrangea bushes that I'm always showing you guys, same thing. I'm leaving those alone. I'm not even gonna prune them back this year. I had pruned them back last year. I pruned them back in like um, uh, late winter, early spring. Uh, but this year I'm not going to, I don't need to. And once again, I have a whole bunch of videos uh, on hydrangeas. I'll link them in descriptions below. And this is another section over here where we put more of those hydrangeas that we dug up from that backfield. And the same thing, they look really crummy. They don't look very happy, uh, but I think they're gonna be just fine. So fingers crossed. This is what some of those tall grasses look like. These are some of my peonies that I am going to wind up cutting back now. I wanted to leave their leaves in place as long as possible so we kept feeding the plant. So I'm gonna wind up just trimming those out. 
And yeah, so there's like a lot of color back here right now. That's why, you know, I know a lot of people do like to clean up their garden this time of year um, and make it nice and tidy. I kind of leave it with this like wild look. And I like leaving a lot of these flower heads in place because a lot of these flowers are going to reseed themselves like this black eyed Se uh, Susan. I've got a whole bunch of echinacea plants and each of these flower heads has loads and loads and loads of seeds for the birds to eat and for them to reseed themselves and so I'll wind up with more flowers and uh, the birds can eat that way also so I'm okay with kind of leaving it uh, this way and then back here in that part of the garden over here we had transplanted all of those hydrangeas those are all limelights like the ones in the front one two three we transplanted those guys in spring and they they did magnificent they look really really great so they had a great growing season and, and a lot of times I move my plants around like I move my furniture around but I make sure that I do it in either fall or spring so those are the two best times to kind of move things around so yeah so that's kind of what my fall uh, garden looks like right now I'll take you on another tour another day guys to show you what some of the back fields look like because they are a whole nother story but it was such a beautiful day today I just wanted to share it with you and guys, know that I have a whole bunch of online flower courses uh, available online in descriptions below. You could check that out. It makes for a great holiday gift for the gardeners in your life. And please join us over on my Kelly Lehman's Flower Tribe Facebook group because there are tons of gardeners from all over the world. And they're asking and answering tons of garden questions over there. And uh, I will see you in the next video.